the Uniswap project will be receiving more benefit on Pulse because we're rewarding the original founders of things because their keys and their projects work on Pulse. Whereas other things that start empty, like Matic and BSC, make copycats that get rich. So Quick, quick Swap's fork of Uniswap got to get rich on Matic instead of Uniswap. Pancake Swap on BSC got to get rich instead of Uniswap. And how is that a better world? Is it a better world that the copycats get to make all the money? Maybe, but it, it seems to me like letting the original founder guys have a chance at making some money seems nice because it was their invention, you know? So I think the concept that you're going to have real Uniswap on the Pulse network is pretty awesome. Now, you'll likely also yeah. have a bunch of other successful fork things of Uniswap v2. I'm, you know, probably going to make one myself. So, it, but it's still nice to know that the original Uniswap guys have a chance to compete and, and make some money on the network. But they're not making anything on BSC and they're not making anything on uh, Matic. You are forking Uniswap, right? Yeah, everything. Well, we're going to fork Uniswap just because basically when the network launches, like a bunch of PRC20s get harvested to equalize the, the increased supply of the pulse. So you have to fix the ratios and then that thing's going to have a bunch of PRC20s and then it should probably stick them in an automated market maker somewhere. And whether that's uh, Uniswap or something else, you know, Uniswap still does have an admin key that can turn on a 15% tax. So if, if, if that transaction is done before they can turn on their, their tax, then it's okay. But like, I don't really like the risk of them being able to turn on a tax whenever. So I, I think Uniswap V2 fork with the tax button turn on ahead of time or with no taxes is, is a nice idea.